G'day! In today's video, I'm just doing a bit of a brief comparison between the MSI GF65 Thin 10 UE and the Acer Nitro 5 2021 model. This one here has got an i5 10500H and a 40 watt 3060. This one here has an i5 10300H, which is only a quad core versus six core. This one also has a 80 watt 3060 and there is around about 300 to, or actually, there's around about $500 dif difference in price, talking Australian dollars. So this one here cost me 1,800 Australian dollars. This one here cost me 1,300 Australian dollars. Granted, this one only had eight gig of RAM to begin with. This one had 16. So now that we've got the pricing out of the way, which one do I prefer? Now, typically I wouldn't normally do a direct comparison video as I do get many comments in the YouTube oh, YouTube comments regarding which one should I buy, laptop A, laptop B. This one here I find a bit more clear cut and I can actually answer that question in my opinion. Mainly because these two machines, I've physically got them right here. I found gaming wise that the actual MSI laptop on for example PUBG would, would actually 100% utilize the 40 watt 3060 where the Nitro with the 80 watt would actually get higher frame rates even though it's the quad core versus six core. So you definitely also always have to be on the lookout for the wattage on your laptops. So don't always do a direct comparison between models, do read the finer details. I do find that now that I've actually got both of these, I don't see the MSI being $500 more value compared to the Nitro. Even though I'm usually a pretty hardcore hater of Acer as a brand, I have found it to be very good value for money. The other thing with it is battery life between the two is fairly comparable. The other thing I did notice was I do prefer the keys on the MSI. They do seem to be flatter. They remind me of what the butterfly switches should have been with a little bit more travel. So I find the keys, you can just slide your hands across it nice and easily to type where I find the keys on the Acer Nitro stick up a fair bit more. General power usage is pretty much the same between the pair. They both have a 180 watt charger. They both usually utilize around 130 watts under load. Um, screen comparisons, both very much the same. I haven't really been able to do a direct comparison, but I wouldn't surprise me if they're using the exact same panel. Another thing is IO. They both have Pretty much the same amount of USB ports, same amount of Type C ports. They're very much comparable. They're very much a lower tiered, more budget 3060 laptops. So at this point in time, if you told me I had to get rid of one of them, which currently I am, it would be the MSI. I find for the extra cost that it is, the extra gaming performance is certainly not there. It is a little bit quieter and the fan curve is better than the Acer Nitro, but it all comes back to this $500 Australian difference. I just don't see it being worth that much more, considering you're getting half the wattage on the 3060 with no real other extra gains. If we do look at the overall build of them, both fairly similar. I do like the look of the MSI more, with its more less angled approach to it, or a gradual approach. I also find that the keys, yeah, keyboard I do prefer where I rest my hand on well, the palm section where I rest is a lot better on here than on here. I do like the slightly more centered trackpad on the MSI as it compared to the Nitro. But granted, I'm mainly using a just a Logitech Bluetooth mouse nowadays, so trackpad isn't really an issue for me. Audio quality, pretty much comparable. Watch a movie on both just fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it between these two. So if you said pick this or this, if you were going to, even though it's a, it's a quad core versus six core, I found on stuff like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the frame rate isn't really that noticeable between the two. Same with um, Fortnite, Fortnite's pretty much comparable. I find for the extra saving in dollars, you're almost either gonna get maybe five, 10% less performance on the Nitro for CPU heavy games. But if you're playing stuff that's reasonably balanced or GPU or GPU dependent, you're going to get a lot more frame rate out of the Nitro 5 as opposed to the MSI due to that 80 watt power limit as opposed to the 40 watt. So 
Yeah, there's my thoughts. The Acer is a little bit heavier than the GF65 fin, but it's really not going to matter that much as you're still lugging around the same bulky 15.6 inch machine. So overall, I think I'd have to give the win to the Acer Nitro. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.